Good morning everyone. Welcome to this my second video on free energy research and uh, perpetual motion. This is the second video which I'm making on this subject. For those who have watched the first video, thank you very much. The first video was made from a wheel which was uh, which was um, 30 cm in diameter. I can demonstrate it here. This was the wheel which I used. This was the experiment apparatus. The wheel was that centimeter in diameter. So it was a smaller wheel. So here I present the second version of the wheel which has an overall diameter of 114 centimeters. This wheel is a better fashion because I'm using a bicycle rim of 58 centimeter diameter, this one. Then to make it even a larger diameter wheel, I have extended uh, the diameter by adding uh, plastic rulers, which are 30 centimeter in length, these ones. So I've attached along the circumference a total of 18 uh, plastic rulers which are 30 centimeter in length so this is what makes the overall diameter of the wall to be uh, 114 centimeters effectively each each plastic ruler carries a weight with a lever arm so we have a total of 18 18 weights around the circumference of the wheel so this bicycle wheel is meant from aluminium which is very light so that the momentum required to rotate the wheel is low also because this wheel is manufactured in an industry it is perfect in terms of minimizing the effect of the frictional forces at the hub the wheel is very very free to rotate so that is an additional advantage of using this uh, bigger wheel which is made from the industry so as i explained in the first video we are trying to investigate or to experiment or now we can make a free energy device or what i refer to as a gravity turbine which will be rotated by the effect of gravity alone. So this is a post work by virtue of differences in the lever arm length. On the right hand side, which is this one, I would like all the arms to be extended away from the center so that they are longer. But on the left hand side, which is this one, the arms will always be pointing towards the ground and the lever arm will be shorter. So to demonstrate if there will be effect of the differences in the lever arm length, I will rotate the wheel backwards or unclockwise so that all the lever arms in the right hand side of my view are extended. Now I will show you all the arms are extended to the right hand side of my view so but to the left hand side the lever arms are pointing to the ground all of them so there is a resultant moment which is being applied on the wheel by the fact that the right hand side the arms are longer compared to the left hand side where the arms are shorter so i'll release so that we see how far this wheel is able to rotate so we see continue following so the wheel it is a passes the 180 degrees that was demonstrated in the first video so the wheel has rotated around 40 degrees more than the 180 which takes it to around 220 degrees rotation so the question that i posed in the first video which i still pause here is that 
is this moment which is created by the differences in lever arm length is this moment able to lift the next weight this one you see this is a zero position where the arm is extended then the next weight is this one so is this moment which is trying to rotate the wheel able to lift this weight this way is it possible this is what i'm supposed to investigate so the idea is to have this rim as it rotates drive another pulley up here which is supposed to lift the next weight and the lifting is supposed to be done continuously when every weight reaches the zero position should be lifted so that it is extended so that always at the right hand side all the the arms are extended and all the arms at the left hand side are pointing towards the ground so this is the next area where i want to investigate or to experiment so my next challenge is making now the mechanism for driving the pulley up here for lifting always the next weight like this like this lifting the next weight so thank you for watching i'll continue with my experimentation but anybody out there who can give ideas or who can even support financially to do a better experiment, I will be very appreciative. Thank you very much.